Welcome back aliens. In this video, I am going to explain on how to use the sort function in, in a specific table or in a specific range in Google Sheet. Okay, let's get into the video. And this is the formula for sorting the data in Excel. Here it is accepting three parameters range, sort column, and sort option. So the range, the first parameter range is nothing but either it can be a table range or it can be a specific, specific any specified any range. So if you are specifying specifying any range, so the range can be either table based range or you can make any customized ranges as well. Okay, but the thing is the ranges you should not mention the table headers because if you are defining the table header, the table header also will be sorted. Okay, the second parameter is sort column. So based on this sort column only that sorting will happen here you need to define the sort column position so the position can be calculated from left to right so the first column is student id and second column is a first name okay and third parameter is sort option so the short option is either it is based the sorting should based the sorting should happen sorting based should on ascending order or descending order if you are making that sorting should happen based on ascending order then you define the sorting as a true okay otherwise we need to define the third parameter false okay so let's check it out how we need to define it here i am specifying the sort function on the first parameter i am defining as a range and defining that student id first name and marks here i have omitted the column headers okay and that second parameter i need to define the sort column okay here i want to sort based on the first name that means a second column okay and third parameter sort option here i want to sort the column based on ascending order so i need to define as a true okay so true is ascending okay if we click enter you can see the data already got replicated here but the thing is the data already got sorted here sorting is happening based on the second column first name you can see that m is the first character in the defined ranges right so it got sorted based on that second column so so this is fine but how do we sort the specific ranges with multiple criteria can we do that yes we can do that okay so let's check it out how to do that for that we we'll define the sort again in selecting the ranges and in the first time it should sort based on that second portion and the second time you need to repeat the second and third parameter because so the sorting cannot be done with the different different ranges at the same time right so that first parameter won't get changed but second and third parameter will get changed okay so in that second parameter i am specifying set three means that second sorting should happen the third column okay and it is also should happen in ascending order and if i click enter you can see the result as a Maggi, Navi, Navi, Raj. But you can see that second row and third row. Okay, it got repeated. But the thing is, third column we can see 240. 240 is nothing but 240 and 250. We have two findings. Navi with the 240 and Navi with 250. Okay, but it got got sorted based on that first finding means ascending order of the marks okay 240 is the first first finding so second time it got so it got sorted with the 250 okay so that is how it works so if you want to verify that so i'm just removing that second sorting option so you can see that 250 got upon it so before that it were in 240 right so this is how the sorting functionality works and in addition to that, if you want to sort the data based on the result values, so then at that time you should go for sort n. So that I have provided in the in the suggestion box. Check it out. Okay. See you there.